Cam, Coach Rolovich said he was uh, impressed with how you moved the ball today, sort of commanding the offense. What did you think you did well during the scrimmage? Uh, yeah, I think it was a good day today. Uh, I felt pretty comfortable um, back in the pocket and making decisions. So uh, just getting the ball out quick, and we had some great receivers getting the ball in their hands and made a lot of plays after the catch. So I think that was really good. Coming out. And what's your assessment been so far of Jameer Calvin and Calvin Jackson sort of taking over the roles on the outside? It's been cool. It's been interesting to see how they've adjusted to being outside and uh, they're taking every day and learning and getting better. So each day they get better and just make a big place. And we've heard a lot of good things about Joey Hobart as a true freshman wide out. Uh, what things have you seen from him and what things did he do today that sort of impressed you? Uh, yeah, Joey's awesome. He's been really smart with the offense, catching on super quick. And I think that helps him out with um, being on the same page as us as the quarterbacks, uh, just being where we want him to be. And then it obviously makes him open. So get the ball in his hands and makes plays too. Thank you. Uh, Cody from the Daily Evergreen, go ahead. Please keep moving. Hey, Cam, how have you kind of uh... – feel like you've adapted to this offense. We've heard from a lot of players talking about um, how they fit in. A lot of the wide receivers love it. Um, how do you feel you fit in compared to the, the air raid? Uh, I feel like I fit in pretty nice. I mean, it's not too far off. Obviously, we're still throwing the ball a lot, but I think just um, learning the finer details of it, just learning what not to do in a certain situation or what look I don't want to see for a certain play and getting off of it has been – the biggest thing to learn to help me out and really grow in the offense. And in terms of this offense, you know, using kind of, uh, you know, all three of you quarterbacks are mobile. Uh, how have you kind of seen uh, Rolovich kind of uh, use that? I know in the past the air raid wasn't really big on getting the quarterbacks moving, but uh, what have you seen in terms of that aspect so far? Uh, yeah, it's really cool being able to have options to run the ball, especially it just adds another uh, factor of the offense that defense has to worry about. So just being able to take off sometimes or certain plays where it's um, in the design for us to take off, it's been really cool to add that in, be able to do that occasionally. And last question for me, do you have any receivers just over your, your time here that you've developed a, a really good chemistry with? I know, you know, last year we saw that chemistry between Anthony Gordon and Brandon Arcanado. Um, so do you have a guy that, uh, you know, you've just thrown to over the years that you feel really comfortable with throwing the ball to? Honestly, it's all new right now with everything going on. So all this stuff is all relationship based with these decisions that's going on in routes and everything. So just the guys that have been here right now, it's just uh, going really well. And no one's really stood out to me on that aspect, but I think everyone does their job. So. Thank you. All right, Theo from the Spokesman Review. Go ahead, Theo. Hey, Cam, you, you obviously been at, been, at, been at Washington State for three years now and, and had to really kind of wait your turn. This, this is really the first opportunity you've had to, to kind of lead the offense. I'm not sure you're kind of embracing that. And then also, what did you learn from quarterbacks like uh, like Gardner and Anthony Gordon, even Trey? That's what like the last I'm thinking years. that um, I'm a sophomore, I'm the oldest in the QB room, so I can kind of take that leadership role, not only with everybody else, but kind of the guys in the room too, in a way, and just helping everyone out. Um just seeing what the other guys did with me when I was around and trying to keep that going is really just a healthy relationship and keep it in and makes everyone better. Just uh, whether it's on the field or off, just really helping each other with what we saw or what happened because we're all in the same situation with the offense, um, it all being new. So it's not like one of us has the upper hand of being here for how many years and knowing all the knowledge of the air raid or whatever. So we're all here and it's going good. Do you try to pick Jaden's brain at all just, just because he did play in the run and shoot in high school and obviously maybe not the exact same uh, variation of it, but, but he has a little bit of experience. So do, do you ask questions or, or anything like that during practice? Um, I wouldn't say really asking him questions, just kind of asking him certain things. I'd say like little stuff that he's been through is kind of interesting to hear about, but I think Coach Stutz did a pretty good job of keeping us all educated on what's going on. What did you do to kind of stay in shape during quarantine and how did how, you manage to get outside and kind of throw football and, and stay in sh uh, keep your arm in shape um, during, during the shutdown this summer? Yeah, so early on, I was lucky enough to be back home and Utah was uh, pretty lenient with everything going on. So I was a huge, I think, advantage for me personally, being able to get full workouts in um, early on through that process. And then I got back up here and everything was 
we had a whole protocol going on, we're just doing everything right. So being up here with the guys that were there around, um, Coach Bradshaw, strength staff, being able to adapt is huge. And just trying to get places where we can get the ball thrown was um, also a little hard to figure out at first, but once we got it and obeyed the rules and everything, it was good to get those reps in early on. All right, any other questions for Cam and Cooper? Oh, there it is. Go ahead, Brenna. Hey, Cameron. Um, Theo kind of hinted on this a little bit, but just uh, obviously the last two years you, you watched quarterback battles. Um, just how does it feel to, to finally really have it be a quarterback ba battle that uh, is up for grabs for you? Uh, it's refreshing in a way, just knowing that uh, every day you got to come to practice and try to win it. So, uh, especially today was a big scrimmage day. So, just coming in with the mindset to do my job and get the team where they need to be. So, um, it's a lot different than kind of sitting back and seeing other guys go for it and just being on the sideline or whatever. Just being in this role, trying to take it over and um, in my own hands is a lot different. I like obviously enjoy a lot more being competitive every day. Um, and just you guys did, we're going to play at Utah State. Um, if you would have won the uh, starting quarterback job, you would have played uh, your first game in Utah. Just uh, is it kind of disappointing to you that, that that's not going to happen now? If, if you win Yeah, I mean, it's been a while since that was announced, so I'm kind of over. But at the beginning, it kind of sucked. Just uh, obviously family members and everyone saw what happened. So they were all going to be there. Everyone's excited, but it's, uh, it's okay. So. Thank you. All right, last one. Let's go. Uh, go ahead, Theo. Uh, we, we obviously didn't have a chance to watch you guys play today. So can, can you kind of describe one play that that went well for you today, and then all, also one play that you wish you wish you had back, maybe? Um, I think towards the end uh, we finished with the touchdown, and that was really um, good for everybody. I guess just finishing the score, the offense just finishing up the scrimmage. Um, personally, uh, that one of the drives, um, we kind of got held up in the red zone, but I think that's just a good thing overall for the defense as well, just being able to get stops in the red zone and hold some field goals. As much as it sucks for us, it's a good to look at it from the other side, too. And who'd you throw that touchdown to at the, at the very end that you're talking about? Uh, it was actually Joe, yeah. Joe Elder. Sure. 